Hey guys, my name is Jason from Southern Land and this is day number two of building a chicken brooder. This is number two in a series of videos of me trying to build this brooder for you guys and showing you guys the thought process and that I'm doing and trying to reuse lumber. And we're gonna go over how much brooder space you need for little chickies. Here's a question I'm getting is, hey Jason, why not use this barn in one of these stalls as a brooder? We have been last year, you know, we've only been here a year, almost exactly a year since we moved. So we've used this as a brooder setup, you know, this as a brooder, cause I had this and then we had to expand last year. So that's why I have this trough and I made a lid for it. I have videos of that. This works fine. Yeah, it worked, but that only holds 30 chickens and that holds maybe 20, definitely not 30. Here's an empty stall I can possibly put them in. It's not that easy because there's a hole there. Uh, a rat could come in here. So it's not as simple as just opening the door and putting some, some shavings on the floor and putting the chickens in here because then you need to rat proof it. I have bigger plans for this barn than using it for our animal. We're doing more workshops, so I don't want a bunch of loud chickens in there while we're trying to talk and do these workshops. Now this shed, I am turning it in one side into a brooder where we're gonna put those brooders inside. Uh, maybe later on, it's gonna have concrete, you know, because it needs to be rat proof. This is right in the middle of our property here. So I figure that I'd rather have those chickens right there where the action's at. You know, cause from here, they go in our chicken tractors and we move them out. This is one of the long sides on the brooder and I'm still using the scrap wood that I ripped down one by ones. I'm gonna add kind of like a mesh window to it. Scraps. It, it's taken me seven years to accumulate all this wood scraps, all these mesh mesh scraps. You know, when we first moved out to North Carolina, we didn't, I didn't have any scraps. And so after doing project after project, you know, this is what I have left. This is about a half inch scraps. I'm trying not to, I don't want to cut a big old roll, so. I'm just going to make it this window as, as big as this scrap piece. Watch your hand. This is a narrow crown stapler. I absolutely love it by Milwaukee. I've used some DeWalt ones before, but this one seems less like a toy than DeWalt. Uh, they're both good, I guess, you know, they're both fine, but this one just seems solid for some reason. And it's great for putting on mesh wire for chickens. I mean, it does these narrow crown staplers there. It's better than using a hammer and, and staples. I think it's worth it if you're building a bunch of chicken coops, especially if you're just one person. This definitely makes everything a little bit more faster. And then using an angle grinder cutoff wheel to cut that all down. Circular saw, the most important tool on a homestead. You could build everything with one of these. We're gonna paint this thing before we go any further. Put up some walls now. This is the end wall. And I'm just gonna screw these in. I already put the pilot hole in there.
I never use this type of box. This is a draw hatch. I like trying out different locks for chicken coops. use this one as their water which I like because it's it's big on the big side but yeah it's still kind of short so this one needs to be able to fit this uh, so it couldn't be too short I went with a half a square foot per chick I just need to put some legs on this and then we'll call it a day Hear that? Frogs. I love it when just after winter or when it starts getting spring that you start to hear and notice like the land and the earth coming alive. It's like everyone's just waking up from sleeping all winter and slowly you start to hear the bugs come out more and more as it gets warmer. And then you notice it when it turns cold, you know, after summer, after fall, uh, you'll notice all of a sudden it's super quiet out. Right about now in the winter season is when you really want it to be spring. So when, so when you're tired, when you're getting tired of that season, that's the beauty of it because it switches and it starts anew again. We're slowly trying to get back into it after winter. I mean, it's still winter, um, but usually winter is our downtime. And this is something I definitely needed to get done. All right, that's it guys. This holds 30 chickens. Put this down, take this out. I had the vinyl in here so that way it's it's a smooth surface so that would be easy just to pull all all the bedding out and to clean it just pull up the gorilla cart right underneath it and then just pull all that bedding out we're not going to put this down very often unless you want to clean it and then you lock it here put the lid on it and then right here is where we're going to hang the heat lamp Drop it down there, feed, water. I don't want to put the brooders in this barn. I want to use our middle barn there that I've been trying to convert into a brooder, but it still needs electricity, which I'm working on that still. Uh, and then I still need to make one more because we have 75 chickens coming and I'm still going to use the brooder that I have in there, the red one. I mean, not bad of using mostly with scrap wood and the only really thing I bought here is the plywood. So all in all, maybe about $70 it cost me. But if you guys want to see another cool video, I'll leave that link right here. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.